Good afternoon and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Dave Davis, CTO at DVS, and today we're going to take a look at a Rick and Morty catalogue. If you know, you know, November is on. Today, what we're actually going to look at, courtesy of Optex, is the VXI Ta -da! and the C-Mod. So if any of you were, if second visited their stand, you would have seen this in action. But it's basically a VXI detector with a bolt-on uh, C-Mod camera with built-in Wi-Fi, which allows us to cover the area of coverage via Wi-Fi to the app, Optex Vision, um, which I'll show you in a minute. So all we need is the camera module, the VXI detector, and an SD card. So I don't know if you can see, but there's an actual flap on top of the VXI, which we will take off. Um, we need to take that off to store the, ah, let's get my screwdriver out. Uh, we're gonna take that off. You can see that's the inside of the detector. I've done a separate video on that. So pl please feel free to do that. So we'll take that off the back plate. In the C-Mod itself, in the box, you get, they pack their boxes too well in Japan. Okay, so we get the full destructions. Now, if you're like me, that's for after, you don't need that. You get the C-Mod bolt-on. So this unit, you can see um, SD card goes in there. There's a waterproof flap, put the SD card in there. There's also two dip switches internal or external um, antenna we're going to go for internal and you've got the high or low IRD IR LED intensity so we're going to leave that on high put the SD card in there and cover the flap device ID there so on the back you'll see there's a QR code we'll keep that safe and then that bolts on to the top of the CMOD uh, the CMOD bolts on to the top of the detector like so once we removed it, it goes like that. And take that flap off, that bolts on. And there's also inside another little box with the module. So you get the adapter plate, screws, and a foam pad, link cable, which links the C mod to the VXI, and The little interface board hopefully you can see that so what we're going to do now is take this apart quickly fit this together i'll zoom in on there quickly fit this together and then you'll see me in two ticks when i come back and it's fitted okay so a bit of a progress update for you so i've got my cable out of the back of the box here so underneath you'll see sticky padded the uh, interface board to the back plane got my cable through ready and fitted the adapter plate and I've also wired my cable in. That's gonna provide the 12 volts in the alarm relay. And um, that could be going to uh, height vision NVR, DVR, or third party system, or an intruder alarm, exact, you know, et cetera. I've also linked now the cable that says two sensor. I've wired it into the sensor head through the bracketry. So that then fits over there. You screw that in and you set the appropriate dipshit settings for your sensitivity, operating mode, um, your angle, your height, etc. sensitivity. You adjust all that as appropriate. There's a manual that comes with it to show you that. I've already done a video on the dip switches for it, so I'm going to ignore that one for a little bit. Um, but let me just uh, finish building this and you'll see me in a minute. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's now a completed unit. Um, obviously that would be fitted there's your mounting holes to be fitted on the wall bottom screw that secures the lid one thing to note don't make the mistake I made is put this on and then try and put the lid on always put the PIR lid on first and then lock this in with the screw on the top it sits in there and locks in you can see also there's the information in the QR code so in preparation download Optex Vision from the app web uh, you know the app store and you need a uh, 2.4 gig Wi-Fi it's a 180 degree view lens this plastic bit which would normally sit on there keep that safe just in case you ever need to take the camera off and uh, modify it or you know just not need it in the future if you need the sealant that's about it so I'm gonna download the app now power this up with a 12 volt DC supply and we'll go from there okay welcome back so we have it powered up it's ready to go I've downloaded the app ready on my phone 
So I will open the app, Optex Vision. So first off, Optex Vision, click new device. So you select your Wi-Fi network you want to add it to, click next. I will choose the Wi-Fi network. You have to make sure you're on that. So I need to add it to this one. And it is, oh. okay, so make sure you join that network on your phone first. Then under the app, choose that one. Type in the Wi-Fi password. So now that's uh, connected to that, scan QR code. So do that, allow access to the camera. Please plug in the ribbon cable, yep. Then you have to go to the Wi-Fi setting and select the uh, device ID, take one of your basic seven, eight. Uh, entrance, yeah. Device connected, modify device password. Let's make it this. Right, it's now setting up the Wi-Fi connection to the app. Done, system is now rebooting. You can put the lid back on there. It's connecting, it's connecting. Wait for it to reboot. Got something itchy in my eye. Okay, so we have it all fitted, it's all working. You can see the lights there, the PIR's picking up. Don't forget, it's a 180 degree uh, field of view on that camera. 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi only, and it doesn't currently like exclamation marks, as I just found out in the Wi-Fi password. Uh, it's only two meg, you can throttle it back if you have bandwidth issues on the Wi-Fi, and again, you can plug an external Wi-Fi antenna in there should that be a problem with it as it is. Absolutely great for the camera to detect the same field of view as the PIR. Um, so when an event happens, it captures it firsthand. SD card will capture the video and store it. What happens is you can see already as I move in front of it, all my notifications are coming up on the phone there. Uh, if they get annoying, you can turn them off for sure. I'm just gonna go in now and see the app working. So wait for that to connect. You can see my app is connected. If I put it that mode, it's 1080p, 180 degree field of view. Really clear, really good image. Lots and lots of applications and uses this can be used in. And again, you can turn the notifications and recording off. You can do snapshots, and you can also do uh, the event playback by pressing there. Type your search in, and it will pull back any of the events that are saved to the SD card on that camera. That's it, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, keep liking, sharing, commenting. We appreciate all your feedback. Thank you very much. See you next week for another how-to video and a massive shout out to Optech who made this device. See you soon. Cheers, guys.